in this lecture we are going to solve the numerical based on z parameters so this is the first numerical here you can see the figure the resistance are given to you 10 ohms 8 ohms and 15 ohms right we need to calculate the z parameters of the given below two port network so for finding this we need to uh, we need to uh, we need to point out the currents so it is a two port network so this is i1 the current which is entering at the input port and this is i2 the current which is entering at the output port right and this one is the voltage at input port v1 and this one is the voltage at output port which is known as v2 right and uh, at 15 ohms let us now we will apply the kvl equation apply kvl at input port and output port so first of all i will apply kvl at input port so when i am applying kvl at input port let us assume i am assuming this direction and at output port i am assuming this direction okay so let us start from v1 so i am writing the equation now v1 minus because i am going in the same direction i1 as the i1 so i am putting minus here 10 i1 and then minus 15 now at this 15 there is a current i1 and there is a current i2 so both are in same direction so it will be i1 plus i2 equals to 0 right we will solve it it will be v1 minus 10 i1 minus 15 i1 minus 15 i2 equals to 0 and next is v1 minus 25 i1 minus 15 i2 equals to 0 and then we can write v1 equals to 25 i1 plus 15 i2 so this is my equation number 1 okay now i will apply the kvl equation at output port right so when i am applying the kvl equation at output port I am just assuming the current direction is I2 like this. So I am starting from the voltage. So I will write the equation V2. V2 minus 8I2 minus 15I2 plus I1. Minus 15I2 plus I1 equals to 0. We will just solve it. So it will be 8i2 minus 15i2 minus 15i1 equals to 0. And then it will be v2 minus 23i2 minus 15i1 equals to 0. Or we can further write v2 equals to 15i1 plus 23i2. So that is my equation number 2 right now in in my previous lecture i have derived the two equations which are v1 equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and the another equation is v2 equals to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 so what i will do i will compare equation 1 and 2 with equation 3 and equation 4 right i will compare these two equations so from if i am comparing then you can see v1 equals to 25 i1 plus 15 i2 we are comparing this equation with equation number 3 so z11 is 25 and z12 is 15 so i am writing z11 is 25 z12 is 15 now i'm comparing equation number 2 with equation number 4 so you can see z21 is equal to 15 and z22 equals to 23 right so these are my z parameters all the z parameters so we are we will write these z parameters into the matrix form and we know what is the matrix form z equals to 
z11 z12 z21 and z22 we have already discussed this in my previous lecture so what will be my z matrix so the final answer will be z matrix will be so z11 is 25 15 15 and 23 so this is my final answer for this given question thank you